Hi everyone, I'm meteorologist John Dissauer. Thanks for checking out my blog, new at Dissauer at Dissauer.com. It is Tuesday, February 1st, uh, about 12.40, and I wanted to update you as to what's going on with the weather across the area. It is very messy outside. Uh, right now we've got a lot of rain falling across most of the KFVS viewing area through southeast Missouri, southern Illinois, Western Kentucky, Northwest Tennessee, and for that matter, Northeastern Arkansas. Uh, the big push of rain is really moving through Western Kentucky, uh, where the bulk of the moisture is at. Areas that you are seeing the pink uh, up towards Farmington and St. Genevieve. So generally, this area right in here, uh, we've had some re freezing rain reported, uh, generally around a tenth of an inch or less. But within the last 45 minutes, we've now been getting reports that this is changing over to sleet. So that is some good news. Uh, so maybe not as much icing as what we initially thought. Uh, it, it's coming down in the form of some sleet now instead. Um, and it appears that this same area is going to continue to see the best chances for uh, the sleet and freezing rain. Um, and up towards St. Louis, they're dealing with a lot of sleet up there right now. At some point, they will see a change over to snow, or at least it's, that's how it looks right now. Um, it just depends on how quickly and how long it takes for it to change over. What I want you to see is back to our southwest, back across northwestern Arkansas and southwestern Missouri. There is drier air in place. So it looks like this is the back edge of the moisture right here. And it keeps pushing northeastward at a pretty quick clip. Now earlier today I was on a conference call with the National Weather Service in St. Louis and they were mentioning uh, there was a spot down along the Missouri-Oklahoma border that picked up five inches of snow in an hour and a half. <laughs> Let me say that again, five inches of snow in one and a half hours. It's a tremendous amount of snow. So when it does come down, it's going to come down very quickly. Um, the back edge of the snow is coming through through Springfield right now, but I also want you to turn your attention back down towards Tulsa. There is more snow down there, so just because you get the lull doesn't mean you're done just yet. Uh, we've got to get all this system through here, but the main event is taking place right now for central Missouri, eastern Missouri, uh, and is now moving into central Illinois and heading towards Indianapolis. It's not there just yet, but it's getting very close to you. Uh, those of you in Columbus right now, it appears that you're going to be right on the edge between uh, the rain and freezing rain temperatures. Um, continue to hover right around 32 degrees, so that'll be very important uh, through the afternoon. You can see we've got winter storm warnings blizzard warnings in effect for a big portion of the country. In fact, uh, I don't have that differentiated, but this area right in here is blizzard warnings uh, for a big portion of the country where they're expecting upwards of 20 to maybe 2 feet, or 20 inches, I said, should say, to 20 feet of snow, or uh, 20 inches of snow. Um, the area back to our northwest, see it's missing. I don't have it set up to show blizzard on there right now. So winter storm warnings continue for Reynolds County, Iron County, Madison, St. Francis, Reynolds, or I should say uh, St. Genevieve, Randolph, and Washington counties in southeast Missouri and in southern Illinois. Those run through tomorrow. The counties in the light blue are winter weather advisories that are under those until tomorrow for in southeast Missouri and some of the counties shaded there in southern Illinois. Here's Precision Cast. This is our 15Z run of the computer model, so it's the latest data. Uh, starting at 1.30, doing a very good job with the placement of the rain and the mixed precipitation. Uh, and again, I think a lot of it's going to end up coming down a sleet from uh, out towards uh, Centerville, Missouri, up through Mount Vernon. Sleet, I should say, and or some freezing rain. Here we go by 3 o'clock. The push of the moisture continues. You can see the back edge of the moisture trying to move in towards Poplar Bluff. Now, eventually by afternoon, we could see some changeover as the colder air begins to wrap in back behind this storm. So it's going to go from rain over to maybe some light, uh, to some light snow mixed in eventually. Here we go by 7 o'clock. The moisture is trying to move out of here. Uh, we've changed over to snow at this point in Farmington. And then by later tonight, all the moisture moves out and then maybe just some very light snow around for our northwestern counties. For the majority of the KFES area, this is going to come down as mainly rain. Uh, but again, some of our northwestern counties could see that little mixed variety. But I think amount should be pretty light. Big picture as to how much ice is going to fall, you can see our 15Z run computer or run of the computer models is still indicating uh, from the Ozarks up along I-70 into central and south central Indiana. I'll break it down here and give you a few closer areas so you can get an idea how much uh, ice could fall. First in southeast Missouri and southern Illinois, we'll run this through and you can see the uh, models indicating 
anywhere from four tenths of an inch of ice in Van Buren, and again, some of that could be Salit, to six tenths in Centerville, six tenths in Fredericktown, uh, maybe four tenths in Farmington, six tenths in Perryville, a half inch in St. Genevieve, and four tenths in Pinckneyville. For the, those of you in central Indiana, this is what our computer model run is showing as far as additional ice accumulation to what you have right now. Some of this, again, will come down in sleet form, I think. A uh, half inch possible in, in Terre Haute, uh, a quarter of an inch to maybe three tenths of an inch in Bloomington, about th uh, maybe two tenths of an inch in Columbus, four tenths in Greensburg, and a half inch in Indianapolis. And notice there's a little bullseye just west of there out towards Brownsburg, and maybe towards Avon, where they could see a larger amount of ice. And again, some of that could come down as sleet as well. Snow accumulation numbers, you can see will stay mainly to our northwest, which has been expected all along. Uh, this model is only showing four inches of Saint, for St. Louis. So I think it's conceivable St. Louis could pick up five to maybe uh, eight or nine inches of snow um, on top of what they've got right now. Now, if we see a lot more sleet, those numbers may come down quite a bit. And just looking at the latest data for those of you up in Chicago, uh, we're looking at perhaps 18 inches of snow is what our computer model is indicating. So 18 to 20, not including any lake effect snow for up there, will be falling. Notice it's showing an additional 16 inches of snow for Columbia. So some places will see upwards of 20 inches of snow before it's all said and done. Uh, and you can see in Indiana, we're talking very, very light amounts of snow. Perhaps Lafayette, Indiana, getting up to 5 inches of snow before it's all said and done. So for the most part in KFVS uh, land, uh, we're just getting a glancing blow of this. The worst of it's going to be up towards Indianapolis. Keep your fingers crossed, uh, people up in Indiana. Uh, hopefully your power stays on. Uh, hopefully my parents' power stays on as well. And for those of you in Chicago, enjoy the snow. I'm jealous. I'd love to be getting all that heavy snow. Thanks for checking out the blog, and have a great afternoon.